This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. I'm gonna shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Then. Cross your heart. Maybe she suspected something. No, I would never do that. I know how to keep a secret. Good to know. Too bad Rafe doesn't. Yeah, see, that's a scene from one of my favorite new series to binge on right now. It's on Showtime. Um, oh, after hours, just after hours thing. You yeah, know? you know, I was getting a clip over here, and there's like titties and shit all over my computer, and the guys <laughs> behind me were just like, "What is this dude looking at?" Yeah, so. man. Well, that was from a, a series called Submission, mm -hmm. and it's a really good series. I just watched the season finale last night, Heather B, and uh, the cinematography, the aesthetic of it, the dialogue is not what you think. It's actually, there are sex scenes. It's for adults. Yes, it's very sexy. <laughs> it's very sexy. It's for adults, but it's not as radical as, you know, just an all-out porn or something would be, right? Yeah, it's like um, if you were to take, like, Fifty Shades and mix it with the L word and Sex and the City and that kind of vibe, because it follows these three women, and they're all with varying experiences in the BDSM world mm -hmm. and how they're all exploring that. The BDS, what, what? BDSM. What does that stand for? Uh, bondage, dom. Wait, I always forget. Bondage, dominant, submissive, submissive masochism, or something like that. I forget. Tracy would know all about this. <laughs> yeah, Tracy G is in here today. There's, there's a whole like reason why it's the called that. I went to one of those parties before. What? What? I did. I went to one of those parties before. A fetish party? I don't know what they called it. I was working <laughs> with this girl. I did this panel, and she calls herself the. The butt queen. So I went. She had As this. You do. And she went to this. She had this party, and it was no alcohol. So I was already just turned off. So I sat in the corner and I just watched. And this, it was like different rooms you can go in, and people were tied up and then blindfolded, and people got punched in the back. Yes. And they got screamed. That, and that's then it. Sounds some fun. Some people like had it. There was a toilet bowl, but they just had the toilet bowl seat. And then you have to drop your pants and you sit on the seat and people crawl underneath and they eat your butt. Uh, and then there was like this harness and then you just go out on all, you just like ante up and you just like spread eagle and then they eat you out, like all kind of licking and stuff. I guess if you're into that, that's <laughs> one thing. And it was called that, whatever those initials were. BDSM? Yeah, party. But... I just don't understand why they don't have anything to drink there. Well, first of all. Well, that's not a normal thing for a fetish club. Usually all the fetish clubs that I've gone to, everyone is pretty lit. Okay, everybody's pretty oh, They're drinking something. But yeah, yeah. that must have been an exception. It was just a black, it was no number on the door. You had I had to turn in my, my driver's license and sign, I had to show ID. Like, I had to be responsible. That Damn. sounds like a private, a very private fetish party. Yeah. Which, oh. those exist too, but you can also go to, there's a lot more in Europe. I used to go to this club, when I lived in Scotland, I would go to London and go to this club called Torture Garden all the time. It was one of my favorite clubs. It's kind of how I discovered this world of fetish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why I fell in love with it, but it's really fun. If you go to the right clubs, then it's it can be a good, a good time. You have a good time? Yeah. Uh, Raylan Joy yeah. is here with us, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Uh, you may know her as Skin Diamond, but drop that today and from moving forward when she sings, she's railing joy. It was important to separate the two, right? Yeah, I, uh, I wanted to uh, shatter the illusion of uh -huh. because the Skin Diamond is if you were to take all of the sexual things about my personality and put it into one entity, then you would get skin. OK, but railing joy is all of me. You know, that's mm -hmm. this is this is me kind of taking off the mess. So you your emotion you have emotions and you you have likes and dislikes and of course I and do. You, you you're you're always smiling. Are you ever sad? Yeah, I mean yeah. I I I have my bad days and I have my amazing days. Uh huh. You know, just like everybody. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. So you're still smiling even when you said bad days. You were smiling about I have my bad days. Um. This is interesting because I, I wanted to bring up submissions because it shows a whole other side of you as an entertainer. You know, we mm -hmm. see you as an actress. And then listening to your music, we, I heard a song called Fire today. I was like, okay, mm -hmm. so she's actually, you're an artist, you yeah. know. So you're a multifaceted artist. Uh, the adult industry is one thing, and um, but what you're doing as a singer, are you afraid that that thing may hurt what you're trying to do with this thing? I mean, uh, there were like a few like, you know, oh, what it, but I think that at the end of the day, I... I embrace myself and uh -huh. I embrace my past because it's it's part of who I am and I'm not going to try to like shy away from the fact that I've done 
porn, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I think that it would be silly for me to try to do that. And so the only thing I can do really is just own it because... Mm -hmm. It, it, it's been a, a huge part of my life for so long. You know, I can't just turn my back on that. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you know, I get bored easily. I like to challenge myself. I like to try new things, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to get into singing because it was something that I had always wanted to do, mm -hmm. but I was always really like shy about it, you know? And, and I'd always wanted to write songs and record, but I just, I don't know. I just, maybe I thought that it wasn't for me. And then one day I was like, you know what? I, I don't want to live in fear of, of something anymore. I want to mm -hmm. just really go for it because mm -hmm. it's something that I love. I love to write. I've been writing since I was four. Mm -hmm. I, um, and I just, I, but I just recently started writing lyrics for songs. So it's a little different. Did than you writing. take vocal lessons? Yes. I, I actually, when I decided that I was going to start recording and singing, um, I realized that I, because I have been a, a smoker of cigarettes for okay. over a decade, you know. Not, not so, weed, you well, you weed. know, okay. weed's different. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I stopped smoking cigarettes. I started seeing a vocal coach to do some damage control, you know, because, mm -hmm. you know, smoking really does take a toll on your vocal cords, which is something that I learned fast. <laughs> okay, so so what, what, um, this is interesting. Um, uh, Raylan Joy is here. You even have another. Twitter account, right? Your social media, right? Yes, okay. I made this, a brand new one. Okay. It's called Ray Joy Cat. Ray Joy Cat. So, so Ray Joy Cat is going to be posting different type of content. Yeah. This skin diamond. With. Are you still going to do adult industry films or? Uh, for right now, I've stopped shooting. I okay. haven't really shot for for a long time now. I've just been focusing on music mm -hmm. and acting, and really just because I feel like you know, if you really want to do something, you have to do it you know yeah. you can't be trying to spread yourself too thin in too many places so okay. when well, yeah. she says spread herself yeah. I'm like, I'm like, we all yeah. kind of just went down a hole and like shit <laughs> well you know <laughs> you know what it is. as you do you gotta spread but yes. can i ask you if you always knew how to sing and then why did you choose one way first rather than the other just if if singing must have always been in your heart to do because you just can't just decide to sing you have to know how to sing and we heard you earlier so how did you go into the adult film industry first well i i actually it's it's kind of a long story i hope mm. you uh, uh well condense it <laughs> i'll <laughs> condense it so but about um, to start the weekend what are you doing <laughs> no, i'm just joking well i was um <laughs> At the time, I was in college studying acting, and I really wanted to get into modeling. Okay. And uh, I, I discovered Suicide Girls, and I really wanted oh. to do, like, that alternative, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, softcore kind of pretty. And I, I so I dyed my hair pink, started getting tattoos, started doing that kind of modeling. And then I went to a fetish club for the first time and fell in love and See. decided that I wanted to get into fetish modeling. Right. So I was doing... Uh, you know, art nude photography and also latex fashion, like modeling latex clothing and mm -hmm. stuff. And my shoots were getting more and more risque. So eventually I was approached by a company to sh to fly to Paris from Scotland and shoot a girl girl scene. And at the time I was like, yeah, I want to go to Paris. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I oh. like girls. That sounds like fun. And <laughs> how much did they pay you that first time? Uh, I can't even remember. Probably not what my rate would be now because I was brand okay. new. Yeah. Um, but uh, I I fell in love with it then because it wasn't like what I thought a porn scene or, or mm -hmm. a porn set was going to be like. Because, you know, you think, oh, it's going to be like there's going to be some weird guy in the yeah. corner. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, it's going to be a bunch of greasy, like, yeah. but it was just a, dude. a bunch of really or a like. tattoo hot... dude with a pink shirt on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. Oh, no, no offense, dog. My bad. My bad. Okay. <laughs> I'm just minding my business <laughs> in the corner over here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but go ahead. I'm sorry. But um, yeah, I just, I fell in love with it because it was just a group of friends hanging out and having sex and getting paid. And I was I was like, wow, this is really fun. And I actually didn't think I would ever do it again after that initial time. The first one, okay. Because I, I had so much fun. I did my first girl-girl scene, boy-girl. Mm -hmm. I did everything right away because I was just doing it for fun. And then a year later, I moved to L.A., and the opportunity fell in my lap again, and yeah. I just went for it. And, and, and it's a testament to her saying, if you're going to do it, you go for it, because in her career, there's a few awards she's won. You know, uh, she's good at it, like Female Performer of the Year, Best Supporting Actress, a couple other ones too, mm -hmm. you know, double pen 
penetration, sex scene, and oral Stop sex. Stop it, but, but But, <laughs> no, but how do you I, I suppress the then, like, if you have this, bur- like, this burning desire to sing, how do you, how did you suppress that then all of this time if you just say, so is it the sex equal to the singing? Like, just, I'm trying to understand how did you suppress singing all these years? Because you actually have a nice voice. Thank you. Well, I, I guess the, the way that I've been describing it, because, what a lot of people don't realize about me is that I am actually very shy, um, which is sounds surprising uh, considering yeah, the girl. line of work yes, that be I've honest. been in. But um, for bit. me, <laughs> for me, getting naked isn't the same as bearing my soul through writing and singing. Because when you're when when you're writing a song, it's coming from from your heart. You know, it's coming from either a personal experience or you're trying to tell a story or whatever. And to to get on a stage and sing that in front of people with, you know, you don't know if people are gonna like it or, mm-hmm. or love it or what. I mean, that's that more to naked me than naked. Is very 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 mm-hmm. scary. Yeah. And mm-hmm. f- taking my clothes off, that's like you know, we're all born naked. That doesn't bother me. Yeah. But. But you know, it was I. I just got to the point where I was like, I don't, I don't want to like live in wondering what could have happened if I didn't okay. try to sing as well. Plus, you don't want to. I don't know if you could be in the porn industry your whole life, not in front of the camera. Can it's, you? It's, it's not a it's long not term. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not. It's like you know, football players have longer careers. All right. Yeah, um, I'm wrinkles okay. Yes. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah, that gravity sets in. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's over. Raylan Joy is here. We're gonna play this. <laughs> song Certainly karma uh this is a song called karma what do you think about karma what is your belief about karma well i believe that you know if you're if you're a good person what comes around what, what goes around comes around and it's the same if you if you screw people over you mm-hmm. know like mm-hmm. you know that that that'll come back to you if you if you mess up so is you better what, watch out because karma is not as nice as i am <laughs> okay, damn, she says it with a smile, man, I swear. All right, here it is, and citizens, we're going to open up the phone lines. Raylan Joy is here, um, 888-742-3345. Raylan Joy, you can reach her at Ray Joy Cat on social media. Ray Joy Cat on social media. So when you're singing, we're going to call you Raylan. I like that song. It's I feel like it's a nice voice. I was just talking to an engineer about it. Oh, so you, this guy is the engineer? Yes. Yeah. This is my producer, engineer, and my boyfriend. Oh, and your boyfriend? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Shit. Damn. The ben, I probably, you <laughs> see me looking at her? Trifecta. <laughs> you saw I was looking at her? Lots you just of people let, do that. You just let me do it, though. You look at her. She's beautiful. How are you not going to look at her? Damn <laughs> hey, man, thank you, bro. <laughs> I'm all talking about sex scenes and shit. You That's know. all right. I already figured out where you park, so we're cool. Okay, all right. <laughs> oh, damn, damn, damn. But you produce no. as well? Yeah, uh, the song that's out now that you can uh, find on YouTube, uh, Fire, that I produced that record. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And then I do all the engineering, mixing. Um, yeah, what's editing, your background? I can't. I mean, I've been playing in bands. I came from like a punk background. Mm-hmm. Uh, growing up, playing, we were on the Warp tour and doing all that stuff. And then I went to school for the engineering, mm-hmm. and then came out to LA because I'm from Chicago originally. How How did you cope with your 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 beautiful uh, life partner being on the screen and the you know and the desire of hundreds of thousands of men and women around the world how did you well, it, it is tough obviously at mm-hmm. times like no matter how open-minded you are or anything you still like you're still a man and you're still yeah. your girl and stuff but i mean i come from that background as well because i also um i shoot adult content too oh, okay so i'm oh. on the other side of the camera so i've been doing that that's how we originally how met. We met we met on set really oh, yeah, for uh shooter? tiger's rack city yeah. triple x I was, I was one of the guys <laughs> shooting that <laughs> <Really>? yeah, <laughs> yeah our crew our crew was shooting uh-huh. that how triple uh, X did it get? Pretty, pretty triple X. All the X. way, man. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. the way. Yeah, I did What's two the... scenes for that movie. Yeah. I, mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I yeah right. was he wasn't in the movie, was he? <laughs> he was, but he wasn't performing, you know? He he was, like, part of the storyline. Yeah, yeah. He was the director. You know how, like, Snoop did that, that like, porn yeah. Snoop? Like, it's kind of like that, only there's, like, a story, and he was involved with the story. So part of the reason why you put that down, is it because of the relationship, or you just wanted to make a change? I had actually stopped shooting Boy Girl before we even started dating. So I was already winding down with things. Mm -hmm. So he just came at the perfect time. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, I got to ask. You know I got to ask. So do y'all do a lot of... (laughs) 
invite guests to the bedroom? Do y'all invite I mean, girl? not as much girl? as we should. Well, <laughs> we're, I know, because we're so busy, but I mean, we're down for stuff. Yeah, things yeah. happen. We're, okay. we're a kinky couple. <laughs> yeah, hence the kinky music. Because uh, yeah. I, I thought karma sound really nice. Uh, let's take some phone calls. 888-742-3345. Yeah, really nice voice. And it's a good sound that yeah, matches it. Yeah. So. It's, yeah, so good I job. I didn't even know that was a boyfriend. He he said engineer. I didn't yeah. even know, but I was complimenting how nice she sounds. Yeah. Keith, yeah. Keith is on the line from Cali. What up? Say hello hey, to Keith, Raylan Joy, up? Keith. Hey, what's up? Uh, Raylan Joy, Sway, Heather B. What's up? Hi. Like good morning. I, 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 like the, I like the song. I, I, I agree with Heather. I think you have a wonderful voice. Um, I think that that particular song, I think the music is kind of too aggressive. It's too busy. Like, I want to hear more of you versus more of the music. I don't That's know if you understand cool. what I'm saying. It's like it's like the music is taking over. I want to hear your voice more than I hear the music. Well, we that's not our only song. So we're actually going to be releasing another song uh, after our first single, Fire, that's got a completely different vibe. It's more of a bluesy vibe. We'll play that, too. Well, we'll we don't that have that one today. But Why you ain't bring your songs, that? Raylan? Okay. Because that one's not ready yet. We're not. Oh. We're still mixing it. Oh man! What did I hear today? You heard fire. Fire. Thank you. Oh, but that one is not ready. Is what you're saying? Yeah, the oh, other one oh, is okay. it. We're okay. still okay. shooting okay. the music okay. video so and everything. Oh, okay. So hey, yeah, but, it'll but be a big release. But Keith, it's something you would invest in, though, right? I'm. I'm sorry. Would you say you would invest in it though and just see what what else she has to offer musically? Yeah, absolutely. I, absolutely. Do you, that's what I was. My, my next question is: do you, what, What's the name of your album? Well, I don't have an album yet. We've just been releasing singles for right now because I'm just kind of introducing the world to the fact that I'm singing now. So, but eventually an album will be in the works. We're definitely, we're in the studio all the time now because this is basically all I'm focusing on. So we're just in the studio writing and trying to create some epicness. Raylan Joy is here. MacArthur is on the phone from Georgia. What up, man? Hey. Yo, what's going on, man? What's up, man? Say hello to Raylan Joy. What's up, Raylan Joy? Hi, how's it oh, going? Man. Oh, man, I'm in the Army, man. I really like the song, man. It was real good. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, it, man. Was, it was. I can't let my kids hear it, though, but, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's not for your children, um, but um, definitely not. That's for your homies, though. Uh, Ray Joy Cat is her social media, so citizens hit her up. Candy's on the line from Atlanta. What up, Candy? Candy. What is up, y'all? I'm so happy I got through. Raylan Joyce, I want to let you know, first of all, that I love you. I actually heard you on Rude Jude's show, and I was trying so hard to call in and cuss all them ignorant people out for telling you that it was trash. That fire is the business. That song is hot. I think you're diverse. I love the fact that you talk about your sexuality. Living in Atlanta, I used to sell sex toys and do lifestyle parties, so the BDSM is totally my world. And I agree with you, um, like, really shedding light on the fact that you were intimidated about sharing your soul, which is music, you know, with the world. Being naked, everybody's naked. Anybody can be naked. Hell, there's bitches on TV naked. So the fact that you are okay with now venturing out into, you know, sharing your soul with the world, that's beautiful. So keep doing that. I can't wait till you have the album. I'm definitely following you. If you even still do videos, I'm going to watch them too. But I just want you to know that women out here do love you. We support you. And that fire is hot. Thank you so much. You have right, no idea so how happy you are. Candy, a down ass yeah. chick, Raylan. She down. Yeah. Right? She's a citizen, yeah. too. Just way in the morning. Cool. Um, well, congratulations to you. Thank um, you. Both of you. Yeah, you know, congratulations. And uh, I can't wait to see the stage show. Woo. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be uh, are you my... Gonna... You gonna combine the worlds, or how are you gonna do a stage show? Well, we're actually we're gonna keep it si- simple. We're gonna do an acoustic set. Okay. So we're gonna do an acoustic version of Fire, plus a couple other ones, um, covers, and uh, that that song that I gave you guys a little peek of, acapella style. Yes. yes. You'll get to hear that in its entirety. Okay. So yeah, and that's gonna be at Sid Sid Gold's request room. Okay. Yeah, you guys having a ATM. meet and greet. Um, yeah. Yeah. This is. Okay, not a Sunday. You're having a, a meet and greet at um 
Where is it at? <laughs> well, the uh, to okay tomorrow is two meet and greets. Or? Yeah, well, okay. on Saturday I'm actually going to be performing at Sid Gold's Request Room at okay. eight p.m. Okay. doing a meet and greet, and then going to New Jersey to okay. do uh, the same thing at a club called Transmission. Okay. Wait, what part at of Jersey? 10, uh, Jersey City. Jersey City. That's my hometown. Yeah. Stand up. What time on Sunday? Uh, ten. Saturday. 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 10 Saturday. Ten p.m. Ten p.m. I'm gonna be Wait, a hold on. We tipsy. just got confused. Yeah. Yo, hold on. Let's yeah. start all over. Yeah, I'm okay. Saturday is... Saturday Sid, is... Sid Gold. Sid Gold Request Room at 8 p.m. And then that same night, I'm going to be going to Jersey City to perform at 10 p.m. at Transmission. And then oh. on Sunday, I'm going to be doing one last show at Key Bar at, I believe, 8 p.m. At 8 p.m. That's yes. on East 13th Street. So we're going to okay. be doing Jeez. lots and lots of stuff okay. this weekend. It's Good. crazy. I'm going to hook you up in Jersey City. That's my hometown. I could bring them out. Oh, thank okay. you. I can I'm bring really them excited. out. Yeah, just uh, give me the information. I got you. I'll bring the hood out. Okay. You need that. Yes, All right, man. All right, uh, Raylan Joy, thank you for coming by. Thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure. Absolutely. To be here. We love having you. Uh, congratulations on diversifying your portfolio. All right, True Life came by today. That was a great conversation with him. We'll be posting that interview on Sway's Universe later today. My man, Stephen Espinosa, the uh, executive VP and general manager of Showtime Sports. Uh, the fight tomorrow with Keith One Time Thurman for the Welterweight Championship against Sean Porter is taking place. CBS. Tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern. Thurman? I, I I said I'm taking Keith Thurman because okay. that's they, they're that's both my friend. friend. No, that's that's but that's I've known real. Keith longer, and if I gotta pick one, I'm going with Keith. All right. Um, but listen, that's not to say I don't believe Sean Porter can win. Sean Porter, yeah. daddy tried to win. Yeah. Uh, DJ Steve Wonder <laughs> for coming by. Also, also Tavis Smiley for coming by and and, and sharing his book I, with us about you Michael know, Tavis Jackson. Tavis was very serious today, but I, why Tavis ain't Tavis ain't married? Tavis isn't married. I noticed that. Well, you didn't me have a ring, a ring. Before You Judge Me is the name of the book, The Triumph and, tra and Tragedy of Michael Jackson's Last Days. And then Mike Muse for calling in. Yep. Man, we had a lot of people on the show today, right? Yeah, All week. So All week, all week. Yeah. So if you missed any of it, Sway's Universe, of course, will have the visual part of it. And then, of course, you can go to SiriusXM.com slash on demand. Yeah, a lot of stuff we posted up. We posted up uh, Casper. Neil Vest from South Africa. South Africa, yeah. stand up. I yeah. don't know what y'all doing, but I I was actually trending in South Africa, so I can't even <laughs> imagine how much Sway was trending. But salute <laughs> to everybody in South Africa. Absolutely. For and, real. Uh, and, all, and all these things. Also, um, we put up Alyssa Milano. Alyssa um, Milano as well. And a lot of Khaled. Uh, DJ Khaled's brother, they came together. YG is up right now. Mm -hmm. um, Blake Lively is up right Shout now. Shout out to Blake Lively. Sway ended up in the New York Daily News. Make sure you go check that out. You can go to NewYorkDailyNews.com and, and watch a little bit of that interview. See a little bit of that interview and what happened in the conversation. Larry King, that's posted up right Larry now. Larry King is posted up. He talked about his marriages and why he's been married eight times. Ed O'Neill is posted up right now. Ed O'Neill, um, official couch potato from Love and Marriage. And or married in, with Children. He's in Finding Dory right now. Okay. Ro James is up. The, the girl you like so much, you know, from Pretty Little Liars. Shay Mitchell. Shay Mitchell is up. Beautiful woman. Uh, John Bellion is up. I mean, so go ahead and check all these things up. Mashallah Ali uh, is up too. Mahershala, Mahershala Ali. Ali yeah. He'll be up today. He's in the new movie, Free State of Jones, that's coming he out was tonight. Excellent, Sway. What a great interview. Citizens, if you missed out on any of that, make sure you go to SwayUniverse.com and check that out. He was an excellent interview. Okay, and Raylan Joy will be up Monday. Okay. Maybe try to get that up. Maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow? Get up to tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow? We'll do it. We'll put up tomorrow <laughs> morning. You. You'll have Raylan Joy's video up until then. We have nothing left to say. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45. <laughs>